Good morning all. The second day of the RTR, January 12th, 2018. And this is my view this morning, all around. It's not many people up, but I heard people walking their dogs and stuff. It's after nine, so I need to get up and get ready to head over to the meeting today, which I believe is on solar. We just need to walk the dogs and let them go potty. Good morning, Jen, you look beautiful. So we're at my friend Jennifer's, and this is her really cool rig. I love it, it's huge. It has what, two or three slide outs? Two. She has a bunk house for the kids, and a big bedroom back there. This isn't like a tour or anything. I'm just coming to show you a really cool thing that she has. Why don't you just plug it in? A washer and dryer. I actually have to turn the inverter on. Okay. So, Jennifer, show us how this works. I'm going to have to get back here. Yeah, so. so I like to use this because I like the lemon scent and oh. it has to be a low sud detergent. Low suds, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. And that makes sense. You just add your water and you just, I mean, like if you were doing like a full. Oh, you have it plugged into the, like the shower faucet. Is uh -huh. that how that works? I just have the shower head in there. Okay. Oh. And then just put this up in. So you're filling, just filling up that drum over there? Mm-hmm. Wow simple and then uh, it has to it takes a while to get you know full mm -hmm. and then when it gets full I'll turn it on what kind of load can you put in there right now I have um, several under things and then I have some of the girls pants and shirts and then I have a pair of my sweats and a couple of shirts of mine so I mean like a really just kind of a it's full like a fourth, small a load to a half of yeah. like regular load. My laundry machine at home is really large, but if you go to a laundry mat, they tend to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna right. say it's probably like a fourth to a half of a load at a laundry. Mat. Okay, so we're very small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does not big loads. And yeah, plus if you put too much in there, you you wouldn't get them yeah. as clean. So yeah, and then once this is done, only like. A third to half of this will fit in here because okay. this is a very that small. That is tiny. Yeah. But at least it's there. It has to have a lot of power. So if there's too much clothes in it, it can't spin them as dry. Uh-huh. You have to do this. And then how do you, how does it spin? Um, it just... Do you, do you turn it, like, is it a hand? It's not uh, a hand uh, thing. It's all electric. Yeah, okay. Plugged it in. So into your, um, what kind of power do you have? Drain. <laughs> um, it's on 110, you know, it's from the... Generator? Yeah. Or short power. Power, if you power have it. from your generator right yeah. now? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's called a Costway. And Very then, good. Uh -huh, this is the larger of the ones that are out there. But they have a smaller one. I think it's called Panda or something like that. Mm -hmm. And there's a smaller one. Um, this is 17 pounds, and I have a 13 pound one. Okay. So. This just does like a little bit more, is a little bigger. Yeah. Okay. And I figure if I'm going to do it, I just want to get it all done. For sure. Hi Angelina! Good morning! Can I have a high five? High five! High five! Banjo says I do! I want a high five! Hey! Can you give Banjo a high five? Banjo, sit! Sit! He's too excited so we just walked out and he still needs to potty. But later you can give him a high five! High five! See that? High five! Good boy! Angelina, wanna try? You wanna try? Yay! High five! Hi! Oh, look here! Look, Angelina! Look here! Y'all are so cute! I wanna make sure it's not on drain, otherwise all your water that you're pouring in is just gonna come out. So okay. you have to be on normal and, or soft if you want, but I just use normal. So then you set your timer for however long you want. And then, oh, there you go. It's agitating. It, yeah, if it agitates really well, then, yeah. it, then it has enough water. I if see. it doesn't agitate really well, then you know. I mean, look how dirty the water is already. But, I mean, we're camping out here in in the desert. In the desert, yeah. Of course. To be expected. At least it gets them clean. Yeah. And I try not okay. to add. Okay. We'll fix it. We gotta fix. We gotta fix her. 
oxygen thing. So I was going to go and check uh, her drying cycle. Is your drying cycle going yet? Yeah. Okay, let me check it out and then we're heading on to the meeting. Hi. Hi. if you see, oops, I mean you see it, like it has three minutes left, but when you put the clothes in there, um, can I see what it looks like? Well, it's if spinning? I open it, it shuts off. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, that gives me an idea how, so it has like a lid on top of it. Uh-huh. Okay. And so when you, when it first starts spinning, there is so much water that comes out. It really spins out a lot of water. Right. And then. And this gets it really dry, doesn't it? It gets it. Close to dry. It has to. It has to have some air and sunlight to get it dry. Okay. Okay. So here we are at the. There. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Let's do that. I want to go closer too. So I'm glad you. You guys want to, so we can hear. It is. I, we were here yesterday and couldn't hear a thing. Hi, buddy. Mike is the one putting on the. Uh, Gold prospecting seminar. Man, Mike is a expert on that. He's going to give you all the details about gold prospecting seminar. Of knowing what you need, conserving as much as you possibly can, using things like LED lights, low power appliances, etc. Having enough battery to cover you, whether it's through the night or through a couple of cloudy days. Having enough solar to charge that battery back up quickly. And the last part, alternate means of charging. Yeah, and just kind of read it later. Yeah, this solar stuff is just Greek to me. We have solar, but we had somebody do it for us. Yeah, so I don't have any solar. I'm not I following it. In my van. Oh, RTR chatter. Guys, it's the second day of the RTR. Like I think I said earlier, just wanted to reiterate that and make sure you know the date of the RTR this is. But Ethan and I are walking back from the main camp, orient, or not orientation, but the next day, which is the solar. And it's just really still all Greek to me. I don't understand uh, all the technology behind it and everything. However, it is really hard to hear. And so that's another reason. We're just not gonna stay for the meet whole meeting. We, there was like 45 minutes of just announcements and questions. So Ethan and I are walking back. Look at this big giant cactus with a little nub on it. It's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Here's one of the big steep washes that we're gonna climb down. We went this way. I think this is the same one we went down all the way here. Oh, my little gentleman. Thank you, son. My little chivalrous gentleman whom I adore. So we're just climbing down. It's kind of like a hike to and a hike back. So I like that. Now we're down in the wash. You can see we're down here in the little gully. And if we want to not be so steep, we can go that way. But we're not real worried about it. It's kind of fun to go hiking and climbing in the morning. They have like an art section now. I see a landmark. Actually, right that red and gray retro. We are beyond that. Just over here. It's hard to say, but yeah, just over there. Let's go find it. Home sweet home. Look at this cool setup. This is so pretty. Can't wait to tour their rig. And then there we are. Right here. Looks like, oh, that's right. She left to go get groceries and water. And there's our Uncle Puddin. Well, the kids call him Uncle Puddin. And that is um, Kevin's rig. Cool. So glad to be home. So glad to be back at our camp. Looks like Aja's still closed in, probably working or snoozing. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.